Oh, it, I mean, it's a, it's a spectacular example. It's almost too exciting. So um, for those who've had the opportunity to see the, the facility actually working and see science in action, it's unbelievably special. Um, the fact that we've been able to get to the point of, of real technology transfer, so we're not just talking about it, we're not just anticipating it, we've got to the point of genuine technology transfer to create a new world's first commercial opportunity. That can't be anything else but exciting. Uh, undoubt undoubtedly, um, the relationship between IMS and, and PFG as an aquaculture incubator um, in new technology, th this ultimately leads to commercial hatcheries around the world. Um, this leads to more Tasmanian jobs. This leads to Tasmanian expertise being world recognised. You've got a long-term relationship um, with the hub. How, how have things developed to the point where now you're going to build the world's first lobster hatchery? Yeah, I, I, look, I, th I think this is um, evident of the um, maturity of the relationship. You know, we started out working with IMS as a supplier of, of equipment. Um, we, we grew that capability by bringing our aquaculture expertise into the hub. Um, and now we're a partner um, with the university to develop the IP. Yeah, so it's, it's world leading research in the fact that um, in other places around the world they can do it on a bench top in a research lab, but um, the work that we've done has taken that to a commercial level that uh, can actually then be exploited by um, people such as our new partner, PFG. Absolutely, it's, it's more of a niche area and, and as you see, uh, with the, uh, the, someone's got to feed the world uh, and, and the reality is developing IP such as this uh, in Tasmania, I think we sometimes underestimate as Tasmanians what we've got in our own backyard and the, and the quality and the importance of this sort of uh, applied science in, on a world scale. So um, as I say, we're, we're thrilled to be part of it uh, and there's, there's, the sky's the limit from my point of view. I, I think uh, with recent developments in aquaculture, we are, we are now understanding the benefit of having um, robust and, and sound science and unimpeachable science informing the growth of the industry and I think this is a, a, all part of that milieu.